change of scenery today guys and there's a very good reason for it um, this is going to be a response video guys um, basically to a fantastic video I watched today from one of my all-time favorite content creators here on YouTube uh, the retro bear if you haven't checked his channel out yet you might want to get over there and do it here uh, because he is fantastic he is so laid back and funny oh fantastic channel I'll link him below uh, yeah he did a video today uh, nothing game related it was his music collection basically his tapes and CDs and so on and I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna get a piece of that I'm gonna do a video like that as well so yeah guys this is uh, not much game related really it might be a bit of banter about the old game now and then but yeah um, let's see where it goes shall we um, as you all know, uh, I'm a massive games collector. But what you probably don't know is that I also collect CDs. Now, what do I listen to? Well, I listen to a bit of everything, um, from pop to heavy, heavy metal, rock, indie, um, but primarily, yeah, heavy rock and uh, metal and indie, guys. So, yeah, I like the odd pop song now and again. But yeah, my love is heavy metal and rock. So yeah, where shall we start? Because uh, this is probably going to be a two-parter, guys, because there's a lot of bloody CDs here. So yeah, thanks Retro Bear for giving me the bug to do this. Because um, it's, yeah, it's nice to do something a bit different just for once. Um, you know, we all need as much content as possible at the moment, where we're all in bloody lockdown. Uh, well, actually, I'm lucky I'm back to work now. I had my first day back today. Um, but yeah, a lot of us are stuck indoors and we need as much content as possible. So why not branch off a little bit and do uh, yeah something a bit different for a change? So yes, guys, here we go. Um, I will be talking a little bit gamey in a minute because I'm going to show you, first of all, my all-time favourite band ever. Uh, they are fantastic. Um, I discovered them in, a, in about 2005. Um, and this is where the gaming bit comes in because guys um, I've said many times before that uh, my first PSP was actually an imported one from America now I got it about a year before it was ever even released here so of course when I got mine I got the American UMD that came free with the PSP at the time uh, we had demos on there for games and you had music videos well one of the music videos was by this band and I watched it and I was absolutely blown away by them. And funny enough, that summer I went to download, which was only shortly after. And um, they were there on stage. And my God, I just became a super fan. After that, they uh, literally are everything to me. <laughs> Where music's concerned these days, I play them all the time, guys. I mean, obviously I listen to a lot of other stuff as well. I mean, up until that point, I was... Um, a uh, huge, huge fan, still am, of uh, people like Metallica, um, or oh, oh, so many guys, uh, Iron Maiden, oh, phew, lots and lots and lots, yeah, I just love it all really, anything that's heavy, and um, yeah, and particularly Guns N' Roses, but um, this group came along and just smashed it out for me, that, that was it, I was just hooked guys, um, I've been to see them so many times I've lost count. They're really, really nice guys as well. They're actually from uh, New York. And they're just bloody awesome guys. And they are called Coheed and Cambria. Uh, now I'll excuse it if you haven't heard of them because obviously you've got to be into that kind of music in the first place, but they are huge on their own scene. And in particular in, in America, of course, um, they're a prog rock band. So anyway, shall I introduce you to the albums? Well, some of the albums, because uh, the funny thing is, I haven't hung on to my 
uh, tapes at all. I actually got rid of them years ago. And uh, vinyl, any vinyl I have left has been put away and buried away in the attic. Uh, so yeah, I can't get my hands on them. So this is all CDs. But a lot of uh, music that I have these days, I bought off download. You know, bought downloads of like from Apple or from uh, Google or Amazon or wherever. I bought a lot of downloads these days. So these aren't complete collections on CD. But I've, they will be complete collections. It's just a lot of my downloads. But here we go, guys. This is the first lot of the CDs. Right, here we go, guys. Uh, the first one, of course, as I said, is Quaid and Cambria. And it's in Keeping Secrets of a Silent Earth 3. Try and get it to uh, not glare. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, this album. I'm going to say this a lot. But yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant album. What an awesome band. They really are. Fantastic. But yeah, that's the first one. Then we have... Quite in Cambria again, of course. And this is a good Apollo and Burning Star. Now, this one, um, if you watched that god awful movie Snakes on a Plane, you'd have heard one of the songs on there. It's called Wake Up. And it's a gorgeous song, guys. An absolutely fantastic song. And it's about the only good thing about that bloody film was that that song was on there. Another Crowhead one, but it's the same one, guys. For some reason, I have two copies of that. No idea why. Strange. And uh, then we have Crowhead in Cambria, and it is uh, No World for Tomorrow. Again, awesome album. But then I am very biased where they're concerned. And then this one's sealed, guys, because this is one of the ones I've got a download of. So I didn't open this up. This was bought for me by my uh, daughter and her hubby. And I just, I didn't want to open it. I wanted to keep it because it's a limited edition one. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep that. Yeah. Now, interestingly about this band, is all their albums, bar this one, are uh, centred around a story. And that story is actually because the lead singer, Claudio Sanchez, he actually makes comics as well. And uh, the albums are themed around the story of the comics. Now, when they brought this one out, it's a standalone album. It's got nothing to do with that concept whatsoever. And I think like a lot of people, I was like, oh, I wonder what it's going to turn out like. Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic album. So, yeah. And it is called The Colour the Color Before the Sun. Fantastic album. There we are. Beautiful album. But as I say, I'm very biased. Uh, next, I'm going to do some Guns N' Roses, guys. Obviously, uh, I have actually got the vinyl of this first one here. Um, but it's what's known <laughs> infamously as the mm -mm Scene album. It's, um, yeah, it was banned, uh, guys, at the time. Um, so it's quite a rare thing to have these days with that original mm, cover on it. I can't say the word, guys. I don't want to be in trouble. I'll put it this way. It's not. Mm, it's a fantastic picture. But the content on it was uh, pretty severe. And you can see really why it was banned at the time. And why the police raided all the shops and why. Well, I've got that original album. Because I was one of the lucky ones who got it early. Even got the original sticker in it still. But this was the uh, the recover, if you like, for the for the vinyl as well, and it's Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction. You'll know what I mean if you uh, you're into metal. You'll know what I mean. The Robot and the Girl cover that was the one that was banned, and uh, if you pull the slip out, you can see that the picture is still in the background of the inner sleeve. So that picture is still there, but it's hidden away inside the album instead. Now, I don't think they did that with this, did they? Did they do it? Let's have a look. I'll take it out, guys, and we'll have a quick gander. It's possible that the picture is still there. I mean, I'm not going to... Oh, yes, it's still there, guys. I'll just show you the top of it. That's the top there, but I won't show you the bottom. 
for obvious reasons. It's quite graphic. Yeah, there we are. So yeah, the picture is still there, but inside. So yeah, very infamous that. Uh, I mean, it's a gorgeous picture by an artist called Ron Williams. And uh, yeah, awesome picture, but yeah, it was too much. It was going too far. So they, uh, yeah, they raided all the shops and got the albums removed. Certainly here in the UK anyway. But yeah, what an awesome album. What, oh, just, oh, classic. Sweet Child of Mine's on there, you know. And so on. Then we have Guns N' Roses, The Spaghetti Incident. Now this is a very interesting album. This is a uh, cover songs of uh, basically punk bands. Yeah, really, really good album, this one. I loved it. Yeah, there's some fantastic game, uh, games. <laughs> the gaming channel. Uh, yeah, you got like Human Being on there, Down on the Farm, Since I Don't Have You. Black Leather, Hair of the Dog, or Ain't It Fun? Wow, what an album. Then we have Use Your Illusions 1. Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusions 2, I've got them download. Yeah, again, fantastic. Guns N' Roses at their best. And I tell you what, I still love Guns N' Roses and I still go to see them to this day. I know it's not the same band anymore. You know, I mean, they're, they're getting their act together now, aren't they, a bit? So hopefully, you can but pray, can't you? Um, yeah, this has got things like November Rain on it. Live and Let Die. Oh, Don't Cry. Yeah, fan fantastic album. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, you've got that ball. So you'd have illusions too, as well. <laughs> then we have GNR Lies. Again. Fantastic album. This has actually got the uh, their uh, kind of like demo album almost on it, and then some new tracks as well at the time. So you got things like um, Patience on there. Used to love her. Go crazy. One in a million, which was very very um, controversial at the time. Naughty naughty Axel. Um, yeah. Then you got like the uh, the very early release from Uzi uh, from Live Like a Suicide like. Was their own record label was Uzi Suicide. So you got like Restless Life, Nice Boys, Move to the City, and Mamakin from that very early recording. Fantastic album. Fantastic. Again, very biased where they're concerned. Right, we're going to move on to some others now. Now, I'm not going to have them in any particular order from now on. We're just going to plod on. Right, fantastic band here. Disturbed. And this is Believe. Wow, this is the album that has prayer on it. Oh my God, is this a good album. Disturbed, fantastic. He's got an awesome voice. Brilliant. And we've got a, yeah, one that, um, I love this album. I listened to the second album that they did uh, a little bit. Wasn't as impressed with this one, uh, with that one, sorry. Uh, this is fantastic. I went to see them at the time. I think it was at one of the festivals, it might have been Reading or something like that. I think it was Reading Festival. And they were fantastic live as well. And it's a puddle of mud, come clean. And I love that on that cover there, the little boy having a pee. Yeah, fantastic, bloody album, that puddle of mud. Of course, that's got the uh, blurry on it. Oh, what a song, what a song. Right, here's an awesome one, guys. Oh, it's awesome this band. Mm, I love this band. And I'll tell you what, I've seen them so often, they're, they're fantastic. And it's Corn, and this is the greatest hits of Volume 1. Jonathan Davis, ooh, he's got some pent-up frustration to release, hasn't he? Fantastic album. Got all the greats on there, all the best ones are on there, yeah. Ah. Here comes one. This this makes me very, very sad. Um, I love listening to them still, but it, it makes me really sad because it's such a shame. Um, the lead singer uh, took his own life um, not actually that long ago. So R.I.P. Chester. Well, Lincoln Park, guys. What a fantastic band. Whoa. Again, I've seen them. Oh, it's such a shame. And that he felt so... So much in a dark place like that to take your own life is, oh, 
you know, he had everything to live for. But obviously, uh, yeah, he didn't feel the same way. And there we go, that's the reanimation one. Um, I was a bit worried about this when it first came out. I thought, oh, what are they going to do to that beautiful album? But yeah, it grows on you. It really does. And there we are, yeah. Linkin Park. Oh, Chester, eh? Yeah, next we have a fantastic band here. Uh, you know, it's sort of like in the early 90s, they did some blinding bloody songs. They really did, and it's a claw finger. What a fantastic band. I love the mix of uh, funk and metal at the best of times. So they do a little bit more uh, extreme to what like Faith No More or whatever do. Yeah, but absolutely blinding. Then we have a Marilyn Manson one. And this is, I do believe, let's have a look. The Golden Age of... Something. Can't read it. Yeah, the golden age of grotesque, of course it is. Silly arse. Yeah, the golden age of grotesque. Again, absolutely love, 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 love Marilyn Manson. Um, at the time when he first came out, I was hugely listening, obviously, to him. And uh, Cradle of Filth. Again, who I've seen so many times, Cradle of Filth. They're fantastic. Danny Filth is... Uh, Eric Cartman on speed, but uh, fantastic music. Yeah. All right, another claw finger, guys, and this one is Deaf, Dumb, Blind. Again, fantastic album. Brilliant. Then we have Green Day, American Idiot. Love the cover on that. Again, what a classic bloody album. Talking of classic albums, guys, here's Deep Purple, 30, very best of. This has got some stonkers on there. I mean, Smoke on the Water and Fireball. Ooh, what an album. All right, this is a, oh, again, brilliant band. Love them, love them, love them, love them. A little bit different to the uh, usual type of heavy rock. Placebo. Absolutely blinded. This has got Nancy Boy on it. Mm, what a song. Now this is a, another one, another band. Their last two albums, I do believe. Um, I wasn't, mm, they're all right. I wasn't as uh, keen on them as uh, their earlier stuff. She has got the voice of a flipping angel. I love Hayley Williams. What a bloody voice. Oh, and their, their earlier albums are gorgeous, absolutely blinding. And this is no exception to the rule. And this is uh, All We Know Is Falling. Paramore. What a voice that girl's got. They've gone a bit too poppy for my liking, unfortunately, but... Oh, oh look, a double. <laughs> yeah, another copy of Green Day American Idiot. How does that happen? Because I don't have lists of them, that's why. Right, here we have another one. Fantastic group, absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna keep saying that, aren't I? Because why would I buy them if I didn't like them? Queens of the Stone Age. This is Songs for the Deaf. Oh, they're good. They really are good. Can't linger on them too long on each, al each album. Right, here we go, guys. Kings of Leon. And this one is only by the night. I do believe this is the one that's got 17 on it. And what a song. If you only want to listen to one Kings of Leon song, listen to 17. Oh, God, it's so good. It gives me goosebumps. You know when you get that song, it gives you goosebumps. 17. And I do believe that is on here. Is it this one? Did you say somewhere? Oh, no. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Right, then we have uh, Metal is Purist, guys, with Trivium. Guitars galore. Fantastic. What a bloody album. 
now I've got a doozy for you guys. Oh, this brings back so many memories. I mean, again, I've seen this band so many times and they are awesome. Fantastic. Oh, a British band. Um, Def Leppard, guys, Hysteria. What a classic bloody album. Even if you're not into heavy metal, there'll be songs in here you like. I'll pour some sugar on me, Animal. Oh, just, just, just a gorgeous album, Rocket. Um, Hysteria itself, yeah. What a fantastic album. Really, really is. Yeah. Beautiful album. Oh, there's the back of it. Look, look at that. I, I love the cover. It's fantastic. It makes a gorgeous poster. I remember as a teenager, I had a massive poster on the wall of this. Uh, now we have a bit more indie here. Uh, uh, it's Ash. Free All Angels. Again, don't mind a bit of Ash. Right, this is literally the dawn of heavy metal, guys, because that is where the name comes from, from one of their songs. And it's a Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild, the best of Steppenwolf, Born to be Wild. And of course, heavy metal comes from the song Born to be Wild. So literally, the dawn of metal. Now again, this is a band Oh my god, their early stuff was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I still do quite like them, um, but their early stuff is what I remember. Under a Blood Red Sky and oh, songs like Pride and oh my god, they've done some oh, gorgeous songs. Um, you too, this is Rattle and Hum. What a band. Uh, Another bit of a classic here, it's a Nickelback Silver Side Up. Again, fantastic album. Oh, some fantastic songs on here. Right, now we have another Marilyn Manson, guys. Now, this one I got, this is a bootleg, guys. I got this uh, outside of a concert. Uh, some guy was selling bootlegs like they always did back then. And uh, this is called a Genius of the Devil. Oh, Genesis of the Devil. Yeah, dear. Anyway, that's that, yeah. Hmm. Then we have another Marilyn Manson. This is, of course, an Antichrist Superstar. With its original sleeve. Uh, cardboard sleeve. Uh, they always go missing in the end of these bloody things. Mine don't. I'm not going to show you. Fantastic album. And another Marilyn Manson, this is Hollywood. Another one with its original sleeve there. Brilliant. Right, this is a big collection, this one. So this is a three CD. And it's got some fantastic songs on it. And this is the greatest ever prog rock. As you might have guessed from my Coheed and Cambria spiel, I love prog rock. Back in the days, in the early 80s, or oh, Marillion. Marillion were just, oh, everything to me. They were fantastic, Marillion. And you think back to, uh, yeah, Kaylee and Lavender and, oh, wow. And does this even have Marillion on it, he says? It must have somewhere. It's, it's got loads on here. Yes. Uh, what else? Blue Oyster Cult, Traffic, or oh, Tangerine Dream, oh, brilliant. Yeah, got ev everything you could possibly want prog rock wise is on this album. Yeah, fantastic album. Well. Right, next we have Travis. See again, indie. Travis the Invisible Band. My favourite Travis song is Sing. I love it. And then uh, there's probably Driftwood after that. Fantastic band. Yeah, fantastic. Then we have a weird one, this one. I don't know where I picked this one up from, I really don't. But it's uh, hmm. Shumanary Stew, a tribute to Alice Cooper. What the bloody hell is that? Not a clue, guys. Don't have a clue where I got that from. Don't know where. Have a clue? Puzzle that one. Love Alice Cooper, though. 
uh, Marine Day, Kerplunk. I love that cover. So minimalistic. It's fantastic. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, and then the disc inside is interesting as well, isn't it? Yeah, the inner there. Brilliant album, that. Fantastic. Hmm. Right, next we have, oh, another Kings of Leon. And this is Come Around Sundown. Brilliant. Oh, I love this band as well. Oh, Alien Ant Farm. Yeah, this is the one with Smooth Criminal and, oh, movies and, oh, brilliant, brilliant album, that one. Fantastic. Again, oh, what a band. Papa Roach. Wow. Papa Roach, yeah, and this is the Love Hate Tragedy. Again, fantastic. Look at that cover. <laughs> I love that baby there. Right, this is one, um, yeah, uh, again, brilliant, uh, stained, and it's uh, breaking the cycle. Awesome voice this man's got. Wow. Um, what's next? Oh, uh, here you go, indie guys. Again, indie music, uh, one of the best bands ever in the indie scene, Radiohead. And this is the Benz guys. Oh, this is an awesome, awesome album. Gorgeous album. This has got on it like high and dry, fake plastic trees. Oh God, there's some good ones on it. And of course, oh, one of my absolute favorites by them. Uh, Street Spirit, Fade Out. Mm. Always reminds me of the lakes. The, uh, it was a TV show. Back in the 90s here in the UK, yeah, the lakes. Wow, that was a fantastic program. Oh, here we go again, guys. Chester, Lincoln Park. And this one is a thousand. A thousand butters, I think. A thousand sums, of course. Oh, dear, I am. Brilliant. Album. And we have. Oh, again, a band I absolutely love. I know he caused a lot of trouble at the time, and you know, their kind of popularity went mm, a bit. But it's Limp Biscuit, guys, and this is a fantastic album. Limp Biscuit presents Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavoured Water. If you're a Limp Biscuit fan, you know exactly what is meant by that title. Here we go again, guys. <sighs> what started it all off with Lincoln Park, Hybrid Theory. Oh my God, is this a good album? Oh, it's a stunner of an album. This has got on it crawling. Oh, in the end, oh, his voice was just fantastic. There he is. Good old Chester. What a bloody tragedy. Right, an absolute classic here, guys. Pay for no more. And it's the real thing. Again, blew me away at the time. Oh, it's, it, it, this again has got, oh, it's got epic on it. I mean, epic is, oh, what a fantastic, fantastic song. From out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Right, next. Next we've got a poppy one, guys. Um, this is, um, I listen to these when I'm a bit mm, stressed out, you know, or, or I'm doing the washing up or cooking a dinner, you know, like a Sunday dinner, I'll bang these on just to calm me down, chill me out a bit. And I absolutely love this band. I love them to bits, still play them all the time. And it is Delamitri, guys. And this one is Change Everything. God, do I love Delamitri. They are fantastic, they really are. Just like a man, or oh, us to know, tell her. Oh, they've done so many fantastic songs. 
another delamatory guys this one is delamatory twisted again what a band this is where it shows a different side of me i don't just listen to you know heavy metal rock i can listen to some of that as well although they do do quite a few you know rocky rocky tunes uh, here we have snow patrol guys and this is eyes open Snow Patrol, yeah, they've done some awesome songs. Uh, another Snow Patrol, guys. This one's Final Straw. Look at that big dirty label on there. Yeah, one there. Uh, this is one that's sealed still, guys, and it's because I had the download of this. Um, so, yeah, I didn't open this up, I kept it sealed. And it's again a girl with the most awesome bloody voice ever. And it is uh, Evanescence, guys. And this one is Open, The Open Door. You see, still sealed. Yeah. What a bloody voice. Oh, Amy, what a voice. Um, next one. Uh, it's from about the same time as when Him started up. And oh my God, do I like that, that genre of music. This dark, almost gothic-like uh, music. And uh, this album was no exception to that rule. Uh, the Rasmus guys. Band Bloody Tastic. Of course, In the Shadows was their biggest hit. And it's on here. Fantastic. Right, guys. Uh, I think that's going to be the end of part one of this video because, yeah, we're going to be here forever, guys. If uh, I don't quit it now and we're already on, ooh, half an hour. So, yes, guys. Uh, I shall be back with a part two to this. So yeah, I'd like to thank Retro Bear again for inspiring me to do this because uh, yeah, it's lovely to have this change, it really is. So yes, guys, I hope you're still enjoying my content, even though I've reared off a bit. Um, yeah, and if you do, please like, comment, subscribe and tap that bell icon. And uh, yeah, you'll be informed of part two coming up, which I'm actually going to record in a minute. But I thought I'd, you know, break it up a bit for you guys so it doesn't get too long-winded and boring. So, there we go guys, yeah, part one, and I'll uh, say it off feeders in, tschüss, and goodbye guys, and I'll see you in the next one, very, very soon. Bye-bye guys.